Hello and welcome to Commercial Vehicle Magazine. Today we are here at Oil & Motors Drive where we will be taking a walk around of Oil & Motors recently launched T1250. Earlier Oil & Motors was in 3 wheeler segment. Recently they have marked their entry in 4 wheeler electric commercial vehicle segment with the launch of Storm EV T1250. This vehicle is a heavy lifter for intracity transport. It is designed to handle everything from e-commerce to dense material loads like water cans or steel. With its 8.2 fit body, it bridges the gap between compact and capable. Uh, so, coming to the front fascia of the vehicle, we have uh, sequential um, LED headlamps on the front. Uh, we have halogen lamps for the main lamps and sequential turn indicators. Now, uh, for the sequential turn indicators, these are LED lamps and in addition to acting as turn indicators, they also uh, show real-time charging status of the vehicle. So in case your vehicle is at a 50% SOC, then your turn indicators will go half the length of the entire indicator's length. So this indicates that the vehicle is at 50% charge and as the vehicle's charging state increases over time, the turn indicator will also increase in proportion to the charge on your actual vehicle. Uh, coming to these uh, lamps at the bottom, so these are basically what we call night vision lamps. This is a feature that we are providing with the A dash, the entire infotainment system that we have on the vehicle. So what this does is basically this provides us with better visibility during extreme foggy conditions and if you are running through very low lit areas at night, then uh, these night vision lamps will help you to get better visibility and clarity of your entire uh, environment. Uh, coming to the vehicle tyres, these are R14-165 tyres. In addition to this, we also have an option for uh, 185 R14 tyres, which is used in a upgraded version, which I already mentioned, which we call it as a storm armoured version. That is meant for uh, high dense loads or high uh, payloads, where, for example, I'll give you an example of uh, cylinders or maybe uh, CO2 cylinders or heavy weights like uh, cement. So over there, we use an upgraded tyre, but as a Standard, you get a uh, 165 R14 tire. So we have a standard ladder frame chassis. This is a 2.5 mm thickness chassis, and uh, the battery pack is integrated with the chassis itself. So it's like very snugly fit between the long members in a skater board platform. Uh, coming to the uh, charging port, so we have a standard AC001 charger and a DC fast charging port. This comes as a standard from the company. Moving uh, to the load body, so on the load body we have multiple variants. The one you see right now in the front is a 260 cubic foot load body. Uh, we have another version where we have a uh, 200 cubic foot which is smaller in height but the deck length is same. It is an 8.2 foot deck length. And then you have a pickup body which is open from uh, which is open from the top. It's kind of a standard pickup variant. And then there is a straight flatbed variant with a 8.2 foot deck. That is usually used by customers to make a uh, custom body on top however they want to build it so now we will be taking a look of the interior of the vehicle so we have powered steering here and the infotainment screen you are seeing here it is fully loaded with multiple features it has YouTube WhatsApp games and also the hot star app in here for drivers entertainment in free time you can see company has already taken care of drivers and entertainment on the navigation part, it has maps integrated with the standard GPS system. On the cameras, this is front and reverse camera. You can easily switch between front and rear camera. This vehicle comes with three drive modes, Eco, Thunder and Rhino. In Eco mode, it provides you the range of up to 50 km. And in Thunder mode, the range of the vehicle will be up to 70 km. And when the vehicle is fully loaded, you can switch it easily into Rhino mode. It will increase the range up to 100 km. This is the night vision camera. This looks much more cooler during the night, not during the day. But when you press it, you can see the saturation of colors. This is called night vision assist. So you are moving in a place where there is no ambient light, particularly in rural areas or places where you need to make turns and vehicle light cannot directly see that. So this is where it helps the driver to see the view in front of we the came vehicle. We our first version of ADAS, which is a camera-based ADAS. 
so this is the camera we have here and it actually looks at uh, everything in front of it and then what happens is uh, we have our ai engine running on this uh, board which is camera here and we try to detect everything which is around our vehicle right and let's say if there is any vehicle or if there is any person or anything it tries to detect where it is uh, probably like in uh, geo location is it on the right side left side or how far is it and then it tries to uh, take an action based on it let's say if my speed of the vehicle is uh, probably 40 right then if the person is let's say at 15 uh, meter or something it needs to apply brake because otherwise it will hit right so that time our uh, ADAS gives you an alert that okay you are uh, at that speed and you might collide into that situation right so this is how our uh, ADAS so who is this all as Tom EVT 1254 if you are in e-commerce FMCG water delivery or any kind of intercity logistics this EV is a serious contender it is green, it is powerful and it is smartly built for the modern logistics ecosystem. And with the price range starting from 9 lakh and going up to 9.35 lakh, the T1250 offers great value for businesses looking to transition to electric without breaking the bank. So what do you think about it? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe CV Magazine.